Hello, hello. Blartanian here with Wither Feelings. The Garnet Intersecting Wills? Intersecting, that sounds so... Intertwined Wills sounded so much better. I just... I mean, well... What are you gonna do about it? What I'm gonna do about it is bring a team of Vane, Core, and Ketchi. Kate Sith, fuck you guys. Ketchi. Uh, look, I, I married into a Scottish family. This isn't my choice. Uh, Ketchi, um, to, uh, pun punch these antlions. It's an entirely melee team, which is very smart, very wise, very prudent, because these guys have aggressive melee counters at different points in the fight. However, this is nothing that we can't overcome with the power of teamwork and, in some cases, broken-ass characters. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the core, and then, um, bring in that Ash LD call. That's going to be kind of our secret sauce for this fight. Uh, similar to how I used Core in Tier 4? Is that the one with Bart's? Tier 5? I don't know. The one where Bart's is required and, uh, you know, you put the Bart's call in Core and it's all, it's gravy. Um, so yeah, we're basically just going to be abusing the shit out of uh, the Core Vein synergy to ride that six turn lightning call and not let these antlions get a whole lot of turns. I'm going to give them a turn or two just because, you know, Core is Core. But, eh, either way. Oh yeah, before we get too deep into it, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Only 10% of my viewers actually do either, so, uh, I appreciate any love you can throw my way. It means a lot in terms of growing the channel and helping it reach a wider audience. Slowly marching toward 500 subs, which is pretty damn exciting. What do we have going on here? Uh... So, uh, this, this is very similar to a team I ran with Vayne and, uh, Ketchy a couple days ago. Swapping out Ace for Core, ba same basic principle, honestly. I just figured, uh, Core was probably a bit better than Ace for, uh, you know, riding out the, uh, the call effect, since he, his, uh, his off-turn damage is a bit more consistent, because you don't need to worry about the traps counting down because of weird turn loop and stuff. All you need to do is just make sure Vayne is buffed. That's all fine and good. Um, there, oh, there's a little trick that I did in this fight that might be helpful for you, depending on the team you're running, because probably the scariest part of this fight is the fact that they use these sandstorm attacks throughout the course of it and blast your hit points away with the, you know, 90% gravity on each of them. Um, which, the last of which occurs at, what, 19%? Uh, That's not a whole lot. So you may... You know, be worried about hitting that hit point requirement of, I think, what, 55,000? Uh, to make sure I did, I just unequipped all the HP passives from my dudes. So, I, you know, unless I'm really sloppy and, like, let the friend Lon and Rain also go to nothing, uh, basically, I'm in the clear, you know? Because these guys don't really hit you with actual proper HP attacks unless you let their brave get too high, and if you use something like a Ferris Call, like, uh, you know, some saps, some poisons, you can get through it pretty easily um, without these guys ever actually dealing a proper HP attack to you outside of those sandstorm attacks. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. You know, I mean, Core's at 10 stacks on his overhead, but we're not going to be touching that because we want to ride this enchant effect as long as we can. Here comes those sandstorms again. Oh, gross. And into a bunch of brave, which is pretty nifty, because this means that we can go ahead and trigger Vayne's burst effect. Because <laughs> it's tricky, because normally Core overwrites Vayne, and he'll break the thing before Vayne gets to, and that's a problem because the follow-up only triggers if, like, it doesn't trigger from off turn stuff. Traps, counter attacks, Core attacks, they don't trigger the the burst follow-up. So the fact that uh, you know, just the fact that we were able to get that. Uh, that break there was pretty handy. So yeah, I, um... Continue to be, uh... I don't know. V Vayne has been a topic of, cons of a conversation, I've noticed. Mostly around the fact that people are kind of... Overstating his power, I think. Um, or maybe misrepresenting it. Because... The big thing with Vayne is... You know, to really hang with the big boys, he needs that 3 out of 3 green. 
And to give him that 3 out of 3 green, this means you're not giving a 3 out of 3 green to someone. Be it Twins, be it Barts, be it Ishtola, be it Ace, what have you. And so if you're going for, for raw kind of power analysis and just quality analysis, you have to kind of, if you're being honest, you have to admit like, okay, you know, I am sacrificing something here by not, by greening Vayne instead of, instead of Twins, instead of Ace, whoever. Um, and I think that, that, op, that resource cost uh, is lost on people. They just see the results. That said, there's a counterpoint that I, uh, I think is important to talk about, which is that at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is the results screen. The only thing that really matters is if you're able to hit all the requirements. And, I mean, okay, within reason, you know, if it takes you 40 minutes to do a stage versus, like, 15, okay, yes, that's a big quality of life improvement outside of that. But, at the end of the day, if you are content with that time investment and can get the win, it doesn't entirely matter. That's kind of where I think the, the heart of the whole, you know, pull for your favorites, you know, don't care about meta thing came from. Uh, it lacks the nuance of saying, you know, that clear screen is a critical piece of it. You know, you have to actually be able to win the fight. But if you can win the fight and you enjoy the journey to get to that victory screen, uh, then, I mean, you know, that I think is, that's where it kind of becomes justified to, to, to willingly make that resource sacrifice. That's why, that's why I green veins, because I was like, you know what, I know I, I know my roster's solid enough that if I need power to clear a stage, I have the power, I have the barks, I have the, you know, I have the core, I have whatever it is, the setzer. But if I want to play Vayne, because I like playing Vayne, I, you know, I, I'm going to invest those resources because I think that'll give me joy whilst, you know, while still enabling me to get that all-important clear screen. So that's kind of the thought process I have there, because, um, because I do, th I do think people who are just like, oh, Vayne's great, you know, Vayne's really good, guys. Mm -hmm. I think they miss that little piece of, okay, you know, he is good, but you shouldn't just be recommending him to people willy-nilly because, he, oh, he's great. I mean, obviously, I think his, his banner passed. I think, no, his banner still, his LD banner might be gone at this point, actually. But the, what I'm saying is, I hope you can you follow where I'm getting at here. I got a little bit ranty. Um, well, I just, I mean, you can see. Uh, other, we're just doing vein and core things. Nothing to report on the gameplay side of things at this point. Um, actually, no, there's one thing to report. Uh, I just did something funny there. Um, I didn't realize when I did that, that the base call for Ash would overwrite the LD call. I didn't realize that her base call had an effect associated with it. And so we just lost our Thunder Enchant. <laughs> idiot. Um, so, there we go. Uh, thanks, Ketchy, with the instant break. Actually, handy little thing for him to just have it, you know, when you need it. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's kind of the push-pull I'm feeling with Vayne, with the conversation around, like, you know, him or other, you know, Saga Runner type conversations, what have you. It's that feeling that, um, no, you shouldn't be recommending this character of to, like a new player or a player with you know, strapped resources who's like, oh, just who should I pull? Oh, is Green Vein worth it? Uh, you sh if you're gonna recommend that character, you have to say, you know, Green Vein can clear content and can be good, but is not as powerful as other characters. Like, that's the thing, it's, it's about recommending characters versus just using and enjoying the character. Like, I'm using and enjoying Vein and I'm having a great time, but I can't say to everyone, like, oh, yeah, no, this is a great idea everyone should do because. Frankly, I think it's not going to be as good or as strong or as useful or as powerful or as, you know, well-rounded as some of the other friends that are out there that you could, or best friends, I got distracted. Um, some of the other units you could invest in accordingly with the same ingot, you know, those same ingots. Uh, speaking of investing things, I want to thank uh, Tellute of the Tonberry Troop, another shout out to the Tonberry Troop here for the dope-ass twins friends I'm using here. Uh, I've said this in a few videos recently, but if you haven't already, uh, I don't know, considered maybe giving to the Tom Barry's Patreon page for as a big thank you for all the tremendous work they put into informing the player base and making sure that we as a community have resources because uh, a lot of information is with, withheld by Squex, just you know, for one reason or the laziness, maybe a choice, whatever. And Tom Barry Troop goes out of their way to make sure that we have a very accessible way to access that information. And I think uh, they deserve a bit the big thank you for that. So thank you, Tell You, for bo both what you're doing for me in this game and in all the games. Along with the rest of the troop. Anywho, I think that, that covers my kind of rant on Vayne. Um, uh, meanwhile, I'm just, I'm just trying to get through uh, this last, you know, 10% or whatever before the uh, orb kills us. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. We have twins. Two turns of them, even. But uh, I am a little nervous about the HP count. So I check there, and we are actually under. We're over right now. We need to heal up. We had that last sandstorm actually took a little chunk out of us. So I'm just going to have uh, Cora finish doing core things. And we're actually going to have our uh, Lon and Rain not LD and blow them up. They could have done it with the, the snap of their finger, because these friends are bonkers in three people fights, as you've probably figured out by now. We're just going to have uh, our friend Ketchy just kind of heal us back up, and uh, that'll be that. Thank you, Dreamy, another Tomberry Troop shout-out. i got to say, those guys just really improving the quality of my life overall uh, with everything they do for me. Friend units, character recommendations, infographics. Um, yeah, it's a great time. Speaking of a great time, check this shit. There we go. That's a that's a million damage on everyone. Uh, didn't kill them all. That was anticlimactic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun little romp through Antlionville. Hopefully the uh, stuff we talked about today <laughs> was insightful and helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching through to the end. Adios.